Hello, my name is Laszlo Leber. Welcome to my channel Coaching. Today, I would like to show you that how you can create a mock service worker to be able to mock out a real online service. We will mock out an endpoint of the service and we will use this mocked endpoint in our web browser and also in our unit test, uh, in, uh, which is created with uh, React testing library. Here you can see that previously, uh, in my previous tutorial, we created uh, an application where we could fetch uh, some jokes with this button. And you can see here that uh, now this is a mocked response. So in this tutorial, we will create a mock service worker and we will uh, we will uh, mock out this slash joke slash uh, random endpoint. And this endpoint will return this uh, text uh, always. So and the project that we created before, and you can check my previous tutorial if you need it. Uh, in this tutorial, we created a React application where we used Redux Toolkit. Uh, and we used uh, the create API from the Redux uh, toolkit queries. We created an API where we uh, used our custom access base query as a base query. In this access base query, we used Axios uh, to be able to fetch data. And we have an endpoint uh, under the endpoints uh, section, the get joke. So we can fetch out jokes from the remote uh, endpoint. Uh, this endpoint is in this API, for example, API Chuck Norris IO. So this is our base URL. Please export it. This is the first step because we will use this uh, base URL somewhere else in the application later. So please export it. Okay. Um, we had the app uh, component where we used this query and we fetched, fetched the, the joke uh, initially and uh, with the button as well. Now, uh, when I refresh the browser, you can see here we get the mocked uh, response. And also, if I press the button, we can get back the mocked uh, response, as, response as well. And the nice in this one is that uh, if we check the network, we can see that we are calling the original endpoint, but uh, the service workers are uh, JavaScript uh, uh, files, for example, JavaScript uh, applications that are uh, uh, work between our front end and between our uh, back end. So they are uh, middlewares between the two uh, endpoints, the back end and front end. And here you can see the call is the, uh, going to the original endpoint, but we get back the mocked response. So this is coming from our mock server and not from the original API. I didn't delete. I didn't uh, do anything about the, re, uh, the original application. I, I haven't deleted anything. So I kept the original application and I just extended it with the, with the mock server, the mock service worker. So here you can see the mock service workers uh, online API, the online uh, documentation. And uh, the first thing is check out that what is the service worker. So service workers are specialized JavaScript assets that can act as proxies between web browsers and web servers. As you can read it here, in our case, it will be a mock server. And here you can find the step-by-step -step tutorial how to install the MSV, the mock service worker package and uh, you can find the steps here that I will mention today that how you can integrate it into your application. Okay, so I created a mocks folder here. Um, 
but before I describe the other steps, let's check the package.json. So what type of dependencies do you need here? For example, for the testing, I just have the testing library installed, so the JSDOM and React from testing library, and I have the MSV package installed here. Uh, this is the mock service worker, and uh, I didn't I didn't uh, have any additional additional uh, dependencies here uh, from the last tutorial. Yeah, so okay, so you have the mocks folder. I put the browser TS. This is for the the web browser usage. So I'm importing the setup worker and I'm calling it with the handlers, passing in the handlers. So we have to create the handlers. I'm, and I'm importing the API base URL here from the Axios, uh, from here basically. And, uh, and I'm creating the mock of the slash jog slash random endpoint, and it will return this uh, this JSON. Okay, um, so you have to pass in your handlers, and I have another file mock server .ts. This is for the unit tests. Here I am also using the setup server, and I'm passing in the handlers. But before all tests, I'm using the server that listen. And after each test, I am resetting the handlers, and after all, I'm closing it. So this is one for the unit tests. And the next thing is to put uh, the import of this browser, so this worker, basically the import of this uh, here. I have. Uh, if statement where I'm deciding that whether the this is a development environment. If yes, then I'm importing the mock uh, service handler and uh, I'm starting it, and I'm render the main content. Otherwise, if it's not a development environment, then I'm just rendering the main content. Um, and yeah. This is for the browser. And for the browser, you will need another thing. If you go through the steps here, you will find that, uh, yes, we are using REST API now and uh, under the integration. If we are integrate it into the browser, then you will need a JavaScript file in it. So, uh, you can generate this JavaScript file uh, with this mpx msw command, or you can download it. You also can use uh, mine. That is here. You can find it here under the mock service worker.js. So you can copy paste it under your public folder. And if you run your application, You have to see this in the console. So mocking enabled. If you can see this, then it's a good point and it should work. So you need this JavaScript file as well. <coughs> And on the Node.js side, it is working a little bit differently. So when we have our unit test for this, for example, for this app component, um, we need we need the mock server that that is created here that I mentioned before. We have the mock server, and yeah, we don't need that that once. 
anymore. Okay. And if I run the unit test now, and you can see here that uh, it could fetch the mock data because it is found in the content. I'm testing it. So it should be in the document. I'm also testing the loading phase. Uh, so in our in my test case, I can mock out my endpoint. So server use res get and slash joke slash random, and I'm putting here the actual actual JSON response that I want to, want to uh, test. Um, you can you can modify your response uh, in each test case in that way that you want to achieve. So, yeah, this is running inside the Node.js now on the Node server. And uh, I think that's all from the mock service worker perspective. Uh, if you liked my video, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You will find many interesting tutorials in this channel. Uh, in the future as well and please press the like button if you like it and uh, thank you very much have a nice day bye <laughs>